Okay. God bless you. Uh, all those who are on board, all those who will be coming to board, uh, please do best as you can to invite somebody to come and join this program. And also do best as you can and also stand uh, at this moment in his glory. Uh, it's my prayer that by his grace tonight we share the word of God for this is a moment of uh, arising. A moment of divine arising we need to stand if not if we didn't take care we take turns for granted and satan don't take turns for granted so i want to share with you the word of god barak for the voice of barak is for baram now we want to share this mystery with you so as uh, we are going let me put some of my songs of uh, a moment of praise or worship and a moment of uh, inviting people to join the program wherever you are. God bless you. Yeah. 
Seven living God, whatever you are, please uh, use this moment to invite somebody. I want us to pray very short, but we share the word of God and we pray. We are in the moment of His glory. We are in the moment of His glory. We fight not against flesh and blood, but we fight against the principality, the authority, the wicked land. Now, this moment, we need to arise in the spirit. This is a moment of arising. You don't have to sit and wait till when enemy arise over you. You need to stand before the time. Oh, 
as you can because it's very very important just invite somebody please for this moment we need to share this mystery tonight and we have to pray it's very very important sorry oh Na kunji die ku o ekoni Sorry 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 na shire yo na ku Kunji die mu ku no na ekoni o ma ye Oh ye wo ki na Odi ma fo pa wa ti hey Sorry, sorry. Now she ran yo. Oh, she die mu. E ko ni mu. Oh, ye mo ni ma so ki. Oku ma ye. Ye mo ju ya mu ya ta. Oku ye ku ma ye sorry. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Na ku ji die ku mi ya e ko ni.
I just want us to make simple prayer tonight. <clears throat> we need to make an a step ahead. That is very, very important. We need to make a world step ahead. There are some things you don't have to allow it to take place before you start. I'm giving this song as last moment. Please invite somebody so that you can get them with me. Can get time with me. We have to pray. Sometimes I don't come bored, or sometimes, but it, it, most of the time, before I come bored, it's very, very important. You need to pay attention uh, for today. I just want that to share the word of God briefly, and we pray briefly, and then you continue to do something with it. We must always know the mystery of the season. We are in a season of mystery that we have to do something supernatural in advance. That is the prayer that we have to do. Sorry, Nashire, arise, arise. Oh. My end is sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now go, did you go at it? Oh, No matter how enemy will rise on you, oh, the Lord will fight for you. You have to have that in mind. Oh, glory, glory.
God bless all the viewers wherever you are. Um, this is the moment that I, I want us to do something uh, that is very, very important in the scripture. Um, glory be to God, eternal King of glory. We magnify your glorious name because thou art worthy to be glorified. And thou art a King of kings and thou art the Lord of lords. Take glory, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Take glory, omnipresent God and omnipresent God. You are the King of kings. And you are the Lord of Lord. Blessed be unto the holy name, God of Israel. Tonight we invite you, Holy Spirit, come and take us low control over our lives. And we need your presence in this moment. Have your way. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless all the viewers. Amen. Now I want to share with you about the voice a certain voice that i want to speak about the voice which destroys a voice which destroys and i want to talk about this voice it's very very important that we need to know whom a voice of Barak or a voice of Balaam for the Barak. Amen. One needed someone to speak for someone. Now, we are in a moment which we have to understand that this is a moment that you need to stand. You need to build your, your, your walls or your hedge. To do what? To defend yourself before the storm. You can't resist the storm when it blows or take position. You can resist storm when it had not yet take place or when it's about to take place. That is where you can build war to resist such a storm. Now I'm talking about a voice which destroy. A voice which do what? Destroy. Now, let's take something from the book of Micaiah, chapter 6, verse 5. Oh, my people, remember, remember now that Barak, king of Moab, consulted and, and went Balaam, <clears throat> and what Balaam, the son of Boa, answered him from Shittim unto Gilgal, that ye may know the righteousness of God. Now, at this passage, I want you to take just two words, consider two words of Balak and Balaam. Now, Balak is a king. 
He wasn't just common king. He was an territorial king. A king who controlled a certain territory with and a certain sources. I repeat. Barak was not just a king. Just a king like that. He was a king which have sources behind his rules. He is a king who controlled the territory not because of his kingship, but because of the power that he had. He is a king who subdues where he is. His territory, he makes sure he brings everything down. Now, the meaning of Balaam, Balak means empty. So, whomsoever that come under him, he make you empty, and then he filled you by what he wants to fill you. And so, he have the power of emptiness. So, the territory or under his dominion, whomsoever that come under his dominion, he make you empty. That is the meaning of Balak. He is an king, or he was an king who control an authority or under his dominion, he make everybody empty. Whomsoever you are, you cannot prosper under his dominion or under his uh, authority. Nobody should prosper higher than him. You cannot be increased. No matter what you do, he creates debts on you and make sure you own him and then he controls you so when you own somebody the person controls you he tells you what to do he makes sure to fill you what he wants and feed you what he wants in order to do what you're supposed to do that was the sources behind Barak because his name was empty to make empty Make sure he make you empty. No matter amount you come with. No matter property you come with. No matter belonging you come with. He had an, a power to empty you. He will discharge you spiritually. He will not come and rob you. He will not come and take anything from your hand. He will live with you peacefully. But he will make here to empty you. Please, if you are on the line, do best to invite somebody to join this program. It's very, very important. We are going to an end of the year, and we are past three quarters. Just through, let them see, distance. He can empty you within a short period. Balak is somebody that controls all horizontal systems to make sure that you can't prosper in marriage, you can't prosper in ministry, you can't prosper in business, you can't prosper in talent, you can't prosper in, I mean, in destiny. Whatever you do, he must, he must empty you and he will empty you and you'll be empty under his rule and his control. He's somebody that provides because he have emptied you, so he will give you what he wants in order to give you order so that you obey him. There are a lot of friends that will empty you. There are a lot of brethren that will empty you. There are a lot of sisters that will empty you. There are a lot of parents that will empty you. There are a lot of people that come into your life, they came to empty you. But now... There are a lot of people, when you come close to them, they envy you from far distance. So before they get linked with you, they make sure they seduce you or they reduce you or they limit you. They make sure before they get encounter with you, you are in trouble. Before you tell them that, brother, hmm, it's not easy they are aware of everything because they empty you before they meet you. Same. And so the king of Moab will never meet you while you are strong or you are rich. 
He makes sure in advance of years, in advance of time, or in, in a certain distance before you come close to him, you are, you are in trouble. He, he will make sure he will limit you from far distance, as I said. So before you meet that king, Balak, you will go for help. And he will help you. He's very good king. Very, very good. But spiritually wicked. Spiritually wicked. Spiritually wicked. He's very peaceful. But spiritually troublesome. Before you, 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 you even get close to his toiletry, he makes sure, so he always have an, let me say, divine, I mean, sources to make sure all the toiletry around him. He's always sitting on the mountains. He's living on the high mountains to make sure to monitor the other areas. He don't always mind his, the, his zone where he's living. But he makes sure to extend his wings on people. He depends on the mountains. He works in the valleys. He is on a very dangerous and crooked king. And so Bible said he did something. Remember before God give, I mean, remind you of something means it was very, very dangerous. That is why the book of Micah chapter 6 verse 5 said, God said, Oh my people, remember now what Barak, king of Moab, consulted and what Baram, the son of Boah, answered him from Shittim into Gilgal. All this distance was the length or the basic foundation of Israel. But God worked for them. So that you may know the gracious of the Lord. You may know the righteousness of God. My brother, my sister, I want to tell you the spirit of Barak is at a distance or international or overseas limitations. Before you get encounter with him, he have already made sure of whom you have become at his hand. We have to stand tonight. I want you to arise so that such kind of wicked good people will not get chance in you. There are a lot of people before you start to say something, they are aware and they know because that was the purpose why they have come to meet you in life. And they can tell you whatever you think to do. They can advise you and they can give you direction where you will finally fall down and destroy. Please. They needed a voice. He walked with a voice. He don't walk with different things. He makes sure he called the divination and speak on you. He wasn't a king that would just send People to come. No, no, no. He stay home. He makes sure to find consultations and that he was dealing with sisters or he was dealing with and the consultants. And so Bible said, remember the king of Moab consulted <coughs> and what Balak the son of Boaz answered. So he always consulted. He bring ritualists or spiritualists to make sure he, he position them where he want. If you can work perfectly on the mountain, he knows you before he brings you. If you can work perfectly inside the valley, he has strong valleys to make sure you get a place that is comfortable for you, that is suitable for you to operate. So he always worked with divine consultants. He understood the horizontal and vertical system of operation. So he don't worry himself at all. He called distance sources to come and operate in his zone or in his toiletry and go back and pay them. He understood the power of verticals. And he don't joke with them. He don't teach them. He don't rob them. He used them perfectly. My brother, maybe you don't understand the, 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 the vertical 
powers all, the seriousness all, the wicked spirit all, all kind of this. And you just hear them, but you might not know how they will preach. But this king was so perfect to preach. It is very, very important we understood how such kind of agencies work and how they take position. Now, the kingdom of God is not by food and drink. I want to tell you something that since the time of John the Baptist, heavily suffered violent and by, I mean, violence take it by force and by force you must take it. I want to tell you, if you did not stand and act in a supernatural way, my brother, it's time for you to arise. If not, you may waste a lot of time. You may accuse a lot of people, but the person who is behind, who is actually behind the actual cause, is not a person that you may think of. Please, arise. Watch out from very far distance. If you cannot locate very far distance, Someone will locate you while you haven't yet become friends, while you haven't yet become husband, while you haven't yet become a wife. It doesn't matter your, 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 your talent. It doesn't matter the intellectualism you are. It doesn't matter the future, I mean, biz that you have started or future journey that you have started. Someone can make sure to drop you or discharge you and make sure before he meets you, he is the one that will be in charge of you. Don't allow someone to be in charge of you. Because if you didn't take care, someone will take in charge of you. And you will make sure to destroy you. Arise. A voice is very important. Now, this man makes sure that he use an source of voice. He used an oracle voices on you. He makes sure he deal with the kingdoms and authority so he understand the voice of oracles. He don't just give order and warning. What you did Navy? You make sure. What is that Navy? Very good. Now this man don't just joke because of uh, he wants. No, 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 no. He makes sure he use the power. Of oracle, the voices of oracle, and make sure names have been mentioned directly and write them. And make sure repeating of voices, so he know how to use the oracle voices. You cannot speak against any voices. There are some voices that be young, a human voices is be young, a human voices. It is an angelic voices that will preach. Remember always, I remember your Bible said, one tell of angels was do what? What cast down with, it, with, with Satan? And so Satan used an angelic voices as an oracle voices to make sure to destroy people whomsoever that wants to destroy you. So the voice that is attacking your destiny is not a voice of a person whom you can say, I catch you with this. It's not a voice of insult. No. Barak will never insult with you. He will never argue with you. He will never discuss with you. But he makes sure he discharge you before he see you in life. Let's look at something at the first Peter chapter 4. Verses 11. First Peter chapter 4 verses 11 is saying something here. If any man speak, let him speak as an oracle of God, according to the King James Version. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God give, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. And let all the beloved say Amen. Now, Bible says, if someone should speak as a minister, as a prophet, as a servant of God, should speak as an oracle. Why did not say should speak with, with, with the power that he had? No. Consider this particular scripture that there is an, a voice of oracles. 
You can't just say in Jesus' name, Jesus' name, no. But you must make sure that in Jesus' name, you are making it correctly. So you must stand firm. So that is what Bible said. If someone will speak, you speak as an oracle of God. Some of us are fast here because many of us will be in here. You speak as what? As an oracle of God. You speak as an oracle. And so you cannot just speak just the way you want. You must be sure there is power in your tongue. That is why he said he give the ability for the edification of the ministry. That is why you need to speak in tongues. That is why you need to blow in tongues sometimes. There are some look, Bible said if someone speaks an unknown language or speak in tongues, there is none to interpret. He's speaking mystery with him and God. So you should let him aside. He didn't say we should stop him, let him aside. Because he's speaking mystery. And so the voice of oracles or the angelic voice or the, the supernatural voices is an uh, speak only mystery. And so, Bible says, if someone will speak, she will speak as an oracle. She will speak as what? As an oracle of God. So you cannot just wake up one day and say things that the way you want. No, you can't. You must be sure that you have been filled and overflow. You have been filled with a power of Holy Ghost and overflow. It doesn't matter. You think you are a prophet, but you must pray in a way that you yourself are not. Look, Elisha said, if I'm a man of God, he did not go and pray because he speak as an oracle of God. If I am a man of God, let fire consume the 50 soldiers. And the fire came down and consumed 50 soldiers. Another soldiers came. He still remained as whom he is for God. And said, if I am a servant of the living God, let fire consume. And the Bible said, fire also consumed them. And I tell one give up. He speak as an oracle. So imagine if he is not an oracle of God and he's oracle of Satan, what do you think is happening? Let me tell you, you can't resist the supernatural. If you have not fully given your life to God, it's time to give your life to God. It's time to ask God to come to your aid. That is why, if you go to Psalm 25, say, Unto thee, O Lord, I lifted my soul. Let the angels take them. Fight for me, O God, arise and fight for me. Let the angels change them. Let the angels overtake them surprisingly. Let their way be darkened. And let them fall in victim. Why? Because he need an angelic voice. To... Whatever you are, please, don't take prayer as a matter of jokes and... Amen? Please, I'm sorry for interruption. I'm sorry for interruption. What's the idea, man? Siwa. Why? Siwa. Siwa, Papa, Papa. Whatever you are, I want to tell you, you need an oracle voice to assist you. Even though you might be a Christian, but you need an oracle voice to preach. You need Jesus to speak on your behalf. You need Jesus, you need Holy Spirit to speak on your behalf. And so Bible, God confirmed how an oracle voice came on them. I want us to go directly into something. To look at it, it's very, very important. We understand whom we are. We must know what is going on. There are some things, if you didn't take care, you, you, you can't do anything about it because... Everything or everything that happens in the life of people have something to do with somebody. So check, check, yes, invite, I went to buy before your time up. I want us to go back to Numbers chapter 22 there and let's look at something over there. The book of Numbers chapter 22. Uh, let's look something over there. Numbers chapter 22. Wherever you are, uh, we are going to the book of Numbers chapter 22. Now, the book of Numbers chapter 22, uh, let him take from 
Two to six. Hmm? Mm. Okay. The book of number chapter twenty two verses two to six. Let me say something like that. And Barak, the son of Zippah, saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites. And Moab was so afraid of the people because they were many. And Moab was distressed because of the children of Israel. And Moab said unto the elders of Midian, Now show this company, now show this company like of all that are around about us as the ox lick uh, up the grass of the field and Barak the son of Zippah was king of the Moabit at that time he sent messenger before unto Bala the son of Boa to Polter, which is by the river of the land of the children of his people, to call him, saying, Behold, there is people came, come out from Egypt. Behold, they cover the face of the earth, and they abide over against me. Now, Come now, therefore, I pray thee, curse me these people, for they are too many for me. Preventure I shall prevail, that we may smart them, and that I may drive them out of the land. For I would that he whom thou bless is blessed, and he whom thou curse is cursed. Now the king found out that Balaam is an, a person of an oracle voice. Before he went there, he had already consulted and found out that how can I get these people? How can I work against them? How can I defeat them? I, I, I don't want to near them because I'm already afraid. I don't know the way things take place in their side. I, I don't understand the sources of power behind them. I don't know. I can't understand it. The, the sources behind them is too strong. So how can I go? And so he called the prophet and said, Ma'am, you know something? I need you to say something. Just curse them. Why did not say... I mean, let them seek or this or that and that or he said, just curse them so that I will be able to drive them away from my face. Somebody don't want to see you. Somebody don't want to hear good news about you anymore. Somebody don't want to understand what is going on anymore. You are a threat for someone. And so he said, go, please. Go and call this man and tell him that I needed him. He must come and curse these people. And that is why First Peter said, If someone will speak, you speak as an oracle of God. Because this man speaks as an oracle of God. He said, anyone I hear that anyone that you bless, be blessed. And anyone that cares, be cursed. And I need you to operate in curses. Curse them, that is all. That is all what I need. And whatever you need, I will give to thee. Luke verse 15 to 16 and uh, 17. Barak said, Yet I gave princes more and more than honorable than they. And they came to Balaam and said unto him, Thou said Barak, the son of Zippah. Let nothing, I pray thee, hinder thee from coming unto me. I will promote thee unto every great honor and will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me these people. 
Somebody can take your name somewhere and all what he need is your name will be mentioned in the waters to curse you. And live channel will turn to an opposite. Someone will take you to an oracle and your name is to be mentioned to be cursed. Someone can take you to mountains that your name should be cursed. Someone can take you to valley that your name should be cursed. It depends on what the person believes and where the person can get that privilege to destroy you. That is horizontal system of destruction. No matter where you are, no matter whom you are, a lot of people depending on what they think they have on, uh, and what they think they are doing. Is not the case. See behind the physical is most of the important. But many people don't care about see behind the physical. Some of children must not obey. Children must not obey. Stop doing boko. Now, what I want you to understand is this: sometimes, if you think, if you joke on see behind the physical, or if you joke with, I mean, horizontal system. Of destruction, it will take you surprised. That is why dramatic strategies is taking place in the life of people. Because you think I'm working, you think I'm in Europe, you think I'm doing business, you think I'm buying and selling, you think no, no, no. Not every there are some kind of agents they don't kill, but they make sure they, they empty you. So the spirit of Barak was there to empty people. So he called him and said, please, do you know what I want you to do for me? I want you to curse these people. What kind of curse? To empty them so that they, they will come under my control. I don't want to just sack them because if you drive them, they can go and reform again and come back or generate again and come back. I want you to curse them. Just curse them. Destroy them. I, I want you to leak all the 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 joy, all the blessings on them. I just want you to curse it. Let the blessings vanish out of their life. And when they they needed help, there I will help them, and I will give them order, and I will control them. And that is how he have been doing to control many sources over there. Somebody needed you to come and said, I need a help. And he's ready to help you. If you didn't take care, you may think you can survive. But you can't survive at the hand of destroyers. It's impossible. Look, when the I mean, prophet was going, because God know, God know, if he allowed this man to go the way he wants to go, he's going to curse them because I've been given from above to this man. You need an oracle voice. That is Jesus to speak on your behalf. You need to cry to Jesus, the Lord, my life is on today. Taking charge of my soul, Lord. For the battery is yours. I need your help, oh God. Don't allow enemy to take in charge of me. Unto thee I lifted my soul. Let my enemy never rejoice over me. Rather, help me, O oh Lord. Let me not be disgraced. But Lord, the battery is for you. Now, this is my call. And say, please, I need you to do just one thing. Because I know the kind of power you have. I know the kind of authority you have. I know that you control the, I mean, the vertical sources, the vertical power. You have an vertical power. So I have already done all what I will need. But I needed you to do one to catch these people. And everything that you need, I will give to you. Every position you need my kingdom, I will give to you. Somebody have taken or have signed contract on you. An agent been appointed over you that they should come and destroy you. But I want to tell you one thing. There is God who is above all gods. 
You need to stand and fight. You need to stand and struggle. You need to stand against the willingness of the enemy. You need to arise. This is a moment of arising. Now, in time like this, getting to December, there are a lot of problems, a lot of trouble, a lot of strategies, a lot of incidents, a lot of, I mean, massacre, spiritual massacre taking place because people die very painfully and very badly. And a lot of things that happen that people don't understand because the dramatic act of the agencies are taking places. And behind this, People are losing chances. This is the moment that if you didn't take care, you can lose everything that you have. It is because and a voice of an oracle, a voice of destroyer, is speaking against you. I don't know where is it. And I don't know whom behind this. But someone is aware that one day you have something to do with you. So he will bring you down before the time. Arise and lift your voice and start to call the name of the Lord. If you take life for granted, or if you take the, I mean, the horizontal powers for granted, you will always regret. You blame many people. You will kiss many people. But that is not the way we solve it. The situation needed divine intervention. You need divine intervention of Jesus Christ. You need divine voice that's speaking in heaven. You need the Holy Spirit as an intercessor that speaks for you. Because horizontal powers are there to distract you. Barak is there to empty you. To take whatsoever that is in you. To take whatsoever that is in your marriage. To take whatsoever that is in your business. To take whatever be, whatever be the cost to empty you. He's ready to pay it. That's why someone can buy sheep or goat or cow or anything at all. Take it to somewhere and re do rituals in order to destroy somebody. Sometimes somebody will spend very expensive rituals to make sure to empty you. Not everybody that wants to kill you. Yes, you Yes, you Sometimes they just want to disgrace you, make you nothing, make you empty, useless you. Sometimes your enemy is not interested to kill you so that you go your way. Sometimes it is their joy that makes sure you cry. And they rejoice over your soul. It is time for you to turn yourself unto God. It is time for you to call the name of the Lord. It is time for you to lift up your soul unto God. And so the king was chasing or searching a consultant who have an oracle voice to make sure to kill them, destroy them, distract them, and blot them down. I don't know what voice. I don't know where your name has been taken to. I don't know who is, in, who is in charge of you. It doesn't matter your, your spiritual standard. Spiritual standard also have classes. If you are a prophet, don't think a mere agent will come on you. He found out that these people are working with prophet. He found out they are working with enemy of God. He found out they have so many backup. But he understood one thing, that this man have an, a voice of an oracle that can destroy anything. Because his name Bala means destroyer. Destroyer! He can destroy anything at all. Bible says, I make you a, a weapon of my war. The battle of my war. And so he is there to destroy anything that God wants him to destroy. Whomsoever God wants to curse, he curses that person. He don't waste time. And this man knows that this is the actual responsibility. This man has that power. And so he wants to destroy 
To your notice, let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 7. Sorry, Isaiah 54 verse 17. He said, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. That is the heritage of the servant of the living God. Why God is talking about voice. God is talking about tongue, about voice. He's talking about oracle voice, oracle tongue. That's why I said, no weapon that form against you. Behind that, no tongue. No tongue. Because there are people that have been given and possessing a tongue of destroyer. A tongue of destroyer. A voice of destroyer. And so that is why he said, and every tongue, every oracle voice, Masha Kabishi Barasanduriyama, it's time for us to arise. It's time for us to move. We don't have to take things for granted. This is the time for me and you to make sure we arise against the principalities, against the powers. By one thing that you needed a divine tongue that is the power of the Holy Spirit. You need a divine voice. Because the Bible said, every tongue that rises against you, he said that is our heritage, to condemn it, to shout it, to not as stand as a prophet of the living God. I stand as a prophet of the living God. I speak as an oracle of the living, living God. Every tongue that has spoke against you. Concern your destiny. Concern your achievement. Concern the sources of glory upon your life. I condemn that voice in the name of Jesus. We say we should condemn them. We don't need to argue with them. We don't argue. We condemn the voices. We condemn the tongue that is saying things. Because sometimes people do things, people drink blood in a way that they can speak oracle. When we say someone speak oracle, sometimes there are some rituals in their mouth what they are speaking with, and I condemn that mouth right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whomsoever that is putting blood in their mouth and speak with their mouth, dip their tongue in the blood and speak oracle evilly, I condemn that tongue right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, whomsoever that is listening to my voice, I rebuke every voice of demonic, every demonic voice that is speaking against the destiny of that person. I rebuke it now in the name of Jesus. Every oracle voice that is operating in the, in, in the horizontal way system to make sure to shout one dream. I condemn it and I rebook it in the name of Jesus. I shout every mouth of lion. Every lion mouth that is to eat people or to destroy people. I shout that mouth in the name of Jesus. Whomsoever they have been through your soul in the lion down that they should destroy you. I shut the mouth of those lions and I set you at liberty. Your enemy will be silent before you. That is why the Bible said every tongue that rises against you, that shall do what? Condemn it. Please do best as you can. Share this message. Help me to share this message. Send it to someone that you love. Invite somebody to join the prayer. I'm not going to keep long today. We are now almost in a moment. And one thing I want us to do is we need to stand in his glory. Because sometimes if you refuse to fight, the fighter will come on you. 
you need to prepare. This is a moment of arising. I'm encouraging brethren, this is the time to dip yourself fasting in prayer. This is the time that you need to stand against, I mean, the oracle evil voices. Because the voices of oracle is something that you can't stop it. All what you can do is to make sure you shut it down. And so we shut the oracle voices. We condemn the activities. Because he called him and said, man of God, I need your help. Please come. These people have come closer and closer. Knowing and understood that before he will find out set an a prophet or set an oracle man, he had been tried with different kind of dragons because they depend on dragons, they depend on idols, they depend on sorceries, they depend on witchcrafts. They have so many devilish instruments or weapons or societies and organizations. Knowing that kingdom is not about one person. It involved with many people and different sources. And so this might call and find out and try. And as much as they try, as much as they prosper. And so this man found out that these people have destiny. They are people of great. They are people of destiny. They are people of glory. They are people of happiness. They are people of a good future. Papa said, I have a thought of good, not thought of evil. But remember, Barak have a thought of evil, not thought of good. That is why Bible says, no weapon form against you. There are some times the weapon will not come. They look at whom you are, where you are, what to do. There are some times a voice will come against you. A voice will condemn your future. A voice will condemn your destiny. A voice will cry against you where you don't know. Sometimes you are innocent to the situation. But I pray tonight, whomsoever that will get connected to this message today, I speak as an oracle of God over your life. I cover your soul by the blood of Jesus. I cover your life by the blood of Jesus. And I decree condemnation against every oracle voice that's shouting or that is crying against you. Every demonic and voice, I condemn it and shut them off in the name of Jesus. When you talk of the voice of oracle, so that is, is, is that like somebody have dog? And you want to order that dog. What they do? They say something that the dog understood that it is you go. Every voice that give command over your soul, that give command over your goal, that give command over your, I mean, your achievement, that give command over your life, I rebuke that voice and I condemn it in the name of Jesus. Every voice that decree or decree evilly or that prophesies evilly upon you, I condemn it that voice in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. Because Bible said, every tongue that rises against you, before you enter into the next year, you must see divine glory of God in your life. I don't know what has happened to you. You are, you listen to me. God is ready to take in charge. Give up. Totally surrender to God. Whatever that is going on, God is with you. Things is going to take place very short as possible. Things will turn around. You will see his glory. Thank you, Lord. Ajima, whatever you are, the voice is already condemned. Expect turning point of his glory that we see very far. I want to tell you, brethren, Bible says every tongue that rises against you, we should stand against it. We should condemn it as prophet or as a servant of the living God. That is the responsibility of a child of God. Quickly turn to me to 2 uh, Corinthians chapter 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Let me quickly turn to them and then um, we look at, at something over there that is very, very important. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. 
verses 3 to 6. Let me see, see something then. Now there is a mystery here. For true, we walk in the flesh, but we do not walk against flesh. True, we walk in the flesh, but we do not walk after flesh. We are women, but we live in the spirit. We stand in the spirit. We, you need to understand this, that you can't start one day and achieve the goals. Sometimes challenges come to fall you down, to destroy you. But I want to tell you, Bible said, for true we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. And so the king stand and find out that if I get out weapons, I cannot. If I call enemies, I cannot. Because you have been calling sorceries, asking about this kind of people. Who are they? What are they doing? How can we overtake them? How can we destroy them? How can we make them this? So he was constantly, because he said, these people from far distance, and I have heard all what they have done against people. And they are running, they are coming closer to me, and they are full around me. Come on. Please, what can I do? So, the, 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 the Barak was sending from different sources of ritualists to come and find out that what can I do? So he was on all his life or all his kingdom was the expenditure upon his kingdom was to always using it. There are some people, they don't find money to eat. They find money for, for, for consultations. It's true. There are a lot of rich people, they spend much of their money in rituals. There are a lot of, I mean, um, stars, as uh, artists, most of them spend much of their money on rituals or consultations for protections and other sources. But I believe in one thing, Jesus is above all. I believe in one thing, Jesus is above all. No matter what you think they can do you, stand because the Bible says, if God is with us, who can stand against us? Let's remain faithful to God. And expect his glory. Because Bible said we find not against flesh and blood. So this king did not worry himself. He found out that if I bring kingdom. No, no, those days they don't go war just like that. Sometimes they go to maybe different countries. They go to Egypt. He can go to Assyria. He can go to Egypt. He can go to Ethiopia. He can go to other uh, Lebanese. He can go and bring Syria. He can go and bring different kind of. So just to support him and give ransom to them to fight a battle for him. But when he make consultations, they tell him that these people don't try. Don't fight. No, don't try to fight. Find another means. So he sat down and found out that if I try to fight these people, it will turn over me. So what I need is to empty them. Let me use my system. And so he called that, the, I mean, a prophet, we know whom you are. I have heard about you. I just want to cast these people to be empty. That is all. I, I, I don't want to destroy. I don't want to fight with them. I, I'm not ready to fight with them. Please, what I needed is to do was to empty them, to make sure you cast them, that they perish Financially, emotionally, spiritually, in every aspect in their life, they just perish and become useless so that I take them even into my in indoor and make sure make them good and control them. So he said, Go, please come and cast them for me. Bible said he took them, he took the man to mountains and said, Look at them very far. He understood that a prophet always go to mountains. So he took the prophet to mountains. He had been working on that mountain with different kind of idols and rituals and dragons. He had so many different kind of sources of dragons inside the river, inside the valley, on the mountains. He worked in every area because he is a man of fighting not against flesh, but he fight in the spiritually. So before he meet any kingdom or before he meet any great man, that man must come down. He will empty you and make sure he take in charge of you. So he said, come, please, come and curse them. And that is what the Bible says. We fight for true, we walk in the flesh, 
But we do not walk after the flesh arise. Mashakabushi Babaya Sanduria Ma. Arise for he said, for the weapon of our warfare are not Kana, but through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. Israel becomes stronghold to defeat him. Israel becomes an a circle of defeat in his life. In his kingdom. In his dominion, Israel become the circle of defeat. And what he need is to pull down those strongholds. Meanwhile, they were not even thinking how to go about that kingdom. They were not prepared for any war against this man. But this man undergroundly, working hardly to make sure he destroyed them. To make sure he bring them down. I want to tell you tonight, you need to start to pray. The Lord God Almighty, whomsoever that is working unaware, whomsoever that is paying ransom on my head to make sure I grow mad, to make sure I lose my marriage, to make sure I lose my papers, to make sure I become empty in my, in my husband, to make sure I become useless in my life, to make sure I become empty. Please, the battery is yours. The battery is yours, oh God. Fight the battery for me because I don't have power of my own. I don't have power of my own. Stand, oh Lord, on my behalf. Fight for me, Lord God Almighty. The battery is yours, oh God. Fight the battery, oh God, because I can do it. I'm telling you, my brethren, this is the time for you to arise. This is the time for you to do what? Arise. This is the time for you to arise. You don't need to allow Satan to take in charge of you. And so when you go to Psalm 35, we'll tell you that contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and buckler. Arise and come to my aid. Because it is not a matter of eye to fight. It's an oracle fight. It is a I mean, spiritual fight. It is an, a, voice, a, a, a voice fight. Look. Goliath said, I curse you with my idols. And David returned it. And revenge. And I said, you come with me with weapons. But I come against you with the name of the Lord. The battle finally became a spiritual battle. I want to tell you, brethren and sisters, you need this prayer tonight. The Lord God Almighty fight against those who fight against me. Because the people, the agent, whomsoever appointed over you is greater than you. Because the one who is coming against you, know the kind of person you are, already have been consulted. Before someone who go to retrace to destroy you, they, can, they, they make consultation and find out how they can destroy you. And find out the ways and means that they can get you down. And find out ways and means that they can cast you off. And so I want to tell you that my brethren and sisters, it's not a bad way. What you know is not about what you can do. It's not about what you have at your hand. It's not about your business. It's not about your papers. It's not about your money. It's not about your position. It's about the realm. It's about the sin behind the physical. So Satan has projected himself against you. Somebody has paid ransom to project evil agenda on you to make sure to destroy you. But as stand as a servant of the living God and condemn every act of evil project on you, evil agenda on you, I condemn it in the name of Jesus. Whomsoever that want to castrate your life, whomsoever that want to, I mean, catapult your destiny, I rebuke that agent in the name of Jesus and I cover you by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Shikaburu Shanduriyama. Rikabu Masababaya Kabi. It's time for you to arise. Share the program, please, somebody. Invite somebody to join this prayer. If you like somebody, you know somebody, you wish him protection, you need to send this to that person, that the person should join this prayer. I will give you a limit of time, but I will tell you, stand and arise against every demolish 
voices. Because Bible said we fight not against flesh and blood. We fight against the wicked spirit. For he said, for true we walk in the flesh. We do not war after the flesh. For the weapon of our warfare are not carnal. Are not carnal. Are not flesh. Are not what you see. The battle is not about what you see or what you know or what you understand. It's beyond the physicals. So you have to project yourself beyond the physicals. You need to arise beyond the physicals. But mighty true God to pull down strongholds. So true God that you can make sure you bring them down. And so this man went to a prophet of God. And I pray, Bible says, when the prophet make a move, when the prophet make a move, when the prophet make a move, God sent an agent to stand on the way and order this man and give him a strong warning. I pray that may the angel of God break out against your enemy. Whatever, whomsoever agent that have been appointed over your soul, that have been appointed over your life, that have been projected over your life, that have been polluted against you, that have been planted against you, let the angel of God break out over them. And that is why Psalm 35 is saying this. Psalm 35 verse 4 saying this. May those who seek my life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot my reign be turning back in disgrace. Come on. We have to find out how we can locate those kind of sources. By only prayer and fasting that you can call the name of the Lord. And that is why I'm standing as a prophet of the living God. And I'm speaking over your soul. That whomsoever that is seeking for your disgrace. Whomsoever that is seeking for your destruction. Whomsoever that is standing against your willing. Whomsoever that has been projected. I mean any evil chances or any evil agendas. Or whomsoever that have determined any kind of disgrace upon your life. Whomsoever that have determined falling down. Whomsoever have been project or have been paid ransom on your head and appointed any destruction sources over your life. I condemn them and set fire with the Holy Ghost over the enemy. Bible says he sent the angel of God to stand away with the soul. I command let the soul of the living God stand violently against your enemy. You are a great and mighty God. And so the Bible said, Fight against those who fight against me. Take off shield and bottle. Arise, come to my aid. Come to my aid. Brand the spear and javelin against those who pressure me, whomsoever that pressure you in every aspect in your life, whomsoever that pressure you in revelation, in dreams, in visions, whomsoever that pressure you in mentally, whomsoever that pressure you, I mean emotionally, whomsoever that pressure you in every aspect in your life, I stand as a living, I mean servant of the living God, and I condemn them, I decree fire over them right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mashabia kaburu shanduri yaba. Rikaba masaka taburu shanduri yama. Mi shababaya kaburu shanduri yabi. Rakaburu shanduri yama. I want to make prayer with you right now. And say, Lord God Almighty, tonight, O oh God, unto thee I lifted my soul. 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 Lifted my soul. Comes to my aid, O oh God. Come to my aid, O oh God. Comes to my aid, O oh God. Let the angel break out with a sword, with a javelin, with a spear over my enemy. Whomsoever, whomsoever that have been appointed over my soul, I pray, my Lord, my God, let the angel break out over them. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost break out over them. Whomsoever is a risk or is a source, or whomsoever that is aware of my suffering, let the fire of the Holy Ghost break out on them. Cause them to confess. Just beginning to pray. Rakabu 
Ushiba Yakabi, Masakata Burushin Duriama, Rabbi Masabaka Burushin Duriama, Shikaba Yakabi Masandi, Ikaba Masakata Burushi Baba Yakami, Rasakata Burushan Duriama, Makabushi Baba Yakabi, Rakata Burushan Duriama, Mashababa Yakaburushi Kababa Sakatabi, Rabbi Masababa Yakaburushun Duriama, Rikata Burushababa Yakabi, Maya Sakata Burushin Duriaba, Rabbi Masakata Burushan Duriama, Shibaba Yakaburushan Duriama, Ramaya Kataburushin Duriabi, Masakata Burushi Baba Yakabi, Yabaya Kataburushin Duriama, Rabbi Masakata Burushan Duriama, Ikabaya Sakata Burushun Duriami, Yabaya Kataburushan Duriama, Bia Kataburushan Duriama, Shikababa Yakaburushan Duriama, Wherever you are, say, Wow, I pray that me God Almighty break out over every evil voice over your life. Whatever they preach themselves, let the fire the Holy Ghost break out. Let the fire the Holy Ghost locate your enemy and destroy them right now. Makabu Shibaba Yakataburu Shanduriyama. Rabbi Masakataburu Shanduriyama. Yabaya Kaburu Shibaba Yakatabi. Stella, wherever you are, let the fire the Holy Ghost locate your enemy. Let the fire fall on them right now. Johnny, wherever you are, let the fire the Holy Ghost locate your enemy. Makabu Shibaba Yakaburu Shanduriyama. Masakataburu Shibaba Yakabi. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Break out, O oh God, and take a flow control over the enemy. Whatever they gathered against your people, whomsoever, O oh God, that is standing against your enemy, against your people, and Lena, wherever you are, I pray, my Lord, my God, let the fire break out, let the fire break out for your daughter right now. She kataburu shinduri yaman, makaburu shakabara sanduri abi, yekababa yakataburu sanduri yaman. Kumi, wherever you are, may God Almighty look at your enemy and break them down right now. Shikaburu shanduri yama, yakaburu shikataburu shanduri abi, yabaya kataburu shanduri yama, rabbi masakata buru shibaba yakabi, maya kataburu shunduri yaba, rabbi masakata. I don't know what is the actual problem that is going on, but I want to tell you one thing is, the Lord will fight for you. I want you to give up right now. I said, Lord, unto thee I lifted my soul. Fight the, fight the fight for me. Fight the battle for me, O oh God. Have your way in my life. I'll pray my Lord my God, I don't have power of my own. Today I lifted my soul. Have your way in my life. I'm tired. I'm tired of life. I'm tired of life. Father, oh God, things are not working for me, oh God. Stand for me. I need your help, Lord Jesus. Shikaburu Shababaya Kabi. Maya Kaburu Shanduri Abi. Rekataburu Shababaya Kabi. Rakataburu Shanduri Yama. Masababaya Kaburu Shanduri Yama. I'm Ponsa and Uusu, wherever you are. I pray that me God Almighty taking charge of your life, whomsoever that is going against you. Rabbi Makaburu Shanduri Yama. Rekataburu Shababaya Kabi. Rabba Kataburu Shanduri Yama. But for wherever you are, be God taking charge of your soul. Every voice is against your life. Every voice is against your life. Same whatever enemy is taking in charge of your life. Rakataburu Shanduri Yama. Such a wa, whatever you are, such a makaburu shinduri yama. May God Almighty take in charge of your soul. Every agent behind your life. Every agent behind your life. Rakaburu Shibabaya Kataburu Shanduri Yama. Masababaya Kabi. Rikataburu Shanduri Yama. Rabbi Ma Maria, Maria, wherever you are, may God Almighty break out over your enemy. Every Voices of oracle against you. I destroy it. I condemn that voices right now. Rabbi Makataburu Rafa, whatever you are, Makei, Shikataburu Shanduri Ama, Yebaya Sakataburu Shandima, Masababaya Kataburu Shinduri Ama, Mate, whatever you are, I pray that me God Almighty take in charge of your life and every sources of destruction. I condemn it right now in the name of Jesus. Shakaburu Shindima, Rabbi Masakataburu Shibabaya Kabim. Because Bible says, our welfare are not kana, but mighty weapon pulling down stronghold. Shekaburu Shanduriyama. Say, Lord God Almighty, every stronghold, every stronghold, every stronghold, every enemy, every agent, every voices against me, every voices standing against me. I pray, my Lord, my God. I pray, my Lord, my God. Have your way, my Lord. Fight the battle for me, O God. Fight the battle for me, O God. Fight the battle for me, O God. Shekataburu Shanduriyama. Rabbi Makaburu. Kaburu shanduri abi, ye kabara sakata buru shanduri ama, masababa ya kaburu shikaba masakabi, rab 
Adi masa buru shunduri ama, Rafa kata buru shunduri ama, Yesa baba ya kaburu shunduri ama, Rabi masa kata buru shunduri ama, Susanna wherever you are, I pray me God take in charge of your soul, whomsoever that have, I mean break out against you, wherever they have projected your life to destruction, I break it, I condemn it, I cover you by the blood of Jesus, Johnson, wherever you are, may God Almighty take in charge of your battle, Rakaburu shunduri ama, Masa kata buru shunduri ama. Mercy, wherever you are, I pray that may God Almighty turn up your enemy down and let something happen within this short period. Rakabushi Baba Makataburu Shanduri Mapolena, wherever you are, I pray that may God Almighty break out over your enemy. May God turn your enemy down. May your enemy fall. Makabushi Kaba Masakatabi, Rabbi Masanduri Ama, Shibaba Yakaburu Shanduri Ama. Justice, wherever you are, I pray that may God Almighty take in charge of the battle. The battle is of the Lord. You can't find the battle of yourself. Rakabushi kabara sanduri aman. Makababa ya kabushi kabama sandu. He kabaya sababa ya kaburu. Say Lord, unto thee, unto thee, I lifted my soul. Every destroyer that wants to soak my blood, that want to kill me flat, I mean flat, that want to Trip me, Rabu Shibaba Kaburu Shanduri Ama. Father, whomsoever that is listening to my voice, whomsoever that is going under the shadow of my voice, and the enemy is soaking the blood, he's always lean, he's always suffering pains in the body. They don't know what is going on. Whatever they are dripping the blood, I crush the enemy down in the name of Jesus. Makabu Shikabama Sanduri Ama. Shikataburu Shanduri Ama. Rabbi Makaburu Shanduri Ama. Every shift in your body. Every shift in your body. Sometimes there are something that is moving in within you. But doctor said there is nothing you don't see in it. Everything that has planted in you to soak your blood, to destroy everything in you. I said fire on the Holy Ghost and I throw them out in the name of Jesus. Makabushi kaba masanduri abam. Rakaburu shibaba ya kabi. Maya sakata buru shanduri ama. Rabbi masababa ya kaburu shanduri ama. Masakata buru shibaba ya kabi. Abi masanduri ama. Rabbi makaru sanduri abi. Masakata buru shanduri ama. Rama ya kaburu shibaba ya kabam. To whatever you are, I pray that may God Almighty break out over your enemy. Everything, whatever enemy has implanted, I mean, Planted over you, Shakaburu Shinduri Ama, Makabi Asakataburu Shinduri Ama, Maya Sakataburu Shinduri Ama, Rabbi Makataburu Shinduri Abi, Yekaburu Shinduri Ama, Posha, wherever you are, I pray that may God Almighty take stand against your enemy, whatever they have gathered themselves against you. Let the battle be of the Lord. Let the enemy fall. Let something happen after this prayer, so that we know we are serving living God. Makabu Shinduri Ama, Rekataburu Shinduri. Yama, Abaya Kaburu Shababaya Kaburu Shinduri Yama, Rabbi Makata Buru Shinduri Abi, Yeshi Kata Buru Shababaya Kabi, Ransford, Makaburu Shinduri Yama, Shikabaya Sakata Bi, Yaba Masanduri Yama, Rabbi Masakata Buru Shinduri Yama, Judas, wherever you are, I pray that me God Almighty to take in charge of the battle. The battle is of the Lord. Father, fight for your daughter right now. Mashakabu Bishindu, Yibaya Sababaya Kabi. Rakata buru shanduri ama, rabu kita buru shanduri ama, duku duku, whatever you are, I don't know where you come from, duku. I pray that may God Almighty take in charge of the situation right now. Makabu shibaba ya kabib, maya sakata buru shanduri ama. Father, I pray that take in charge. I pray that whomsoever that is listening to my voice, whomsoever that is going, oh God, under the shadow of my voice, I pray that Lord God Almighty. Take a slow control. Take a slow control. Take a slow control because the battle is your kinsha. Kinsha. Whatever you are, I pray that may God Almighty break out over any enemy. Whomsoever appointed over your soul. Whomsoever appointed over your life. Whomsoever that have standing against you. Let the fire break out over your enemy right now. Makaburu Shinduri Aman. Thank you, Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the King of Kings and you are the Lord of Lords. I pray that Lord God Almighty, oh, be magnified, oh Lord. Be magnified, oh Lord. Be magnified, oh Lord. Bible says, may they be like church before the wind, with the angel of the Lord drive them away. May their path be dark and triple. Whomsoever appointed over your life, whomsoever that will fly, whomsoever that is walking under the sea, whomsoever that 
started moving in the vertical, I mean, vertical system. I pray, let them be stripped and break down. Makabushi Baba Yakatabu. Bible said, let their way be darkened and let their way be stripped. May them fall on sin trap. Whomsoever that have dig grave for you, let that person oh be in that grave in the name of Jesus. Let that person be in the grave in the name of Jesus. Whomsoever that have appointed grave, whomsoever that have paid ransom of your head and pay money also, pay another ransom of your grave. Oh, makaboshe kataburu shanduriyama. Let that person fall in that grave. Makabi shikataburu shanduriyama. Rabbi masababa yakabi shikataburu shanduriyama. Rabbi masababa yakaburu shanduriyama. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the King of Kings, O Lord. You are the Lord of Lords. You are eternal King of Glory. Father, have your way, O Lord. 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 The battery is yours, my Lord, my God. The battery is yours, my Lord, my God. Let your name be magnified, because you are the King of Kings, O Lord. You are the Lord of Lords. Stretch forth your mighty evil hand, O God, and show yourself strong, because you are King of Kings. I pray that, my Lord, my God, whosoever that is going under the shadow of my voice, whatsoever consider as trouble, whatsoever consider as pains, whatsoever consider as problem, whatsoever consider as strategy, whatsoever that have been determined over your life before this Christmas, every premature death, every I mean, tragic. Every trouble that has been appointed by your soul, I condemn it right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the King of Kings, my Lord. The battery is yours, O God. You are eternal King of glory. I don't know how long Doctor have given to you. I don't know how long Doctor have given to you. But I pray that may God Almighty change the storm in your life. I pray, I don't know how long doctor have given to you. I pray that may God Almighty turn things around in your life. For Bible said, he speak and it come to be. He command and he stand firm I pray, may God Almighty take stand. And I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, whatever a grave has been made, and decree has passed, and the time has been given, I cancel it, and I set you for life. I condemn every act and every voice of premature death over you. Any kind of sicknesses vanish out of you right now in the name of Jesus. Any kind of false dream that you are passing through, I will book it and shut it off in the name of Jesus. Any sicknesses that you don't know and they don't know whether they found out whatever they said, I condemn it and I decree life over you. I repeat, I don't know how long they have been giving that your life is short. But I stand by the servant as a servant of the living God and I decree life over your soul. I condemn every condemnation over your life. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Amwako. Wherever you are, I pray may the Lord of mine be taking charge of your soul. Wherever you are, for Joe, whatever you are. Emmanuel, I pray that may God Almighty take in charge of your enemy. May God bring your enemy down. Every incident has been determined. Every accident that has been determined, I condemn it right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. We give you glory. We magnify your glory of you. You are the King of kings and you are the Lord of Lords. There is nothing hard for you and there is nothing that you can do. I pray that Lord God Almighty take in charge of God of your people. Have your way, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father, let your name be magnified. Let your name be glorified. You are the King of kings, O Lord. You are eternal King of glory. You are perfect God of Israel. I pray that Lord God Almighty have your way. I want to end up my intention of today. But I pray that may God Almighty show His grace on you. May God, may God Almighty 
show yourself strong. Whatever you are, may the blood of Jesus cover you. May the blood of Jesus cover you. Arise and fight. The battle is of the Lord. The battle is of the Lord. But you need to stand in the battle gate. The battle gate. You need to stand. You need to stand. God will show yourself strong. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless your holy name. I'm ending here in a decree. The fire of the Holy Ghost be your defense. In the presence of God go before you. May the angel of God break out your soul as he stopped the problem. May the Lord stop your enemy, whatever they are. May the angel of God chase them and draw them far away from your life. May you experience divine grace upon your life. May you experience divine grace upon your life. I would like to end up here as this song is going on. Whatever you are, may God bless you. Please share this message. You can play it word party and repeat it for someone to get such a divine encounter into his life. May every voice be content in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever you are, God bless you. I salute you. As I'm ending up, we see another time and we pray once more time.